welcome back to my channel. I'm Allison, and today we're doing a low impact, no equipment Tabata session. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest videos. There will be six circuits contained two moves each that would do for four minutes long. Each move will be completed four times for 20 seconds on with a 10 second rest in between. There is no jumping and no equipment needed except a mat. A warm up and cool down is not included, so please do this on your own. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Here are your first two moves in circuit number one. Kicking it off, we're combining a good morning and a double pulse squat. So hands light behind the head, open up the elbows. We're taking it to a good morning, hinging forward, pressing those glutes back, come up, and then sink low for a double pulse squat. Come up, hands behind, good morning, double pulse squat. You can definitely shorten this range of motion, again, depending on your fitness level. And if you're not feeling the pulse, you can do one single squat instead. That's your first exercise. Second move, I do have a mat close by. Again, a mat is optional, but we are taking it to alternating renegade rows. And I am dropping the knees and doing one push up. Back in the toes, renegade, renegade, one push up. If you like to, you can definitely keep the knees down for the renegade row and keep it down for the push up and shorten that range of motion. Okay, so four minutes total is the circuit. 20 seconds on, 10 second rest, repeating each move four times. Going in 10. So I'm just gonna keep my mat close by and move from there to standing every time. In three, two, good morning, double pulse squat. Try it now. Good morning, double pulse squat. Sinking low on those heels. Squeezing the glutes on top. Down, down, come up, good. Elbows back. A little extension from the warm up here. Feel good moves, right? Three, two, and walk around, head down to the ground. That 10 seconds goes super quick. So smooth transitions. Three, two, two renegade rows. Drop the knees, give me a push up. Good, and if you want to, here it is. Keeping it on the toes with the push up, that's up to you. Abs in, press. Good, seven seconds. And then the first round is done for each. Three, two, and stop. 10 seconds, come right back up. Woo, set number two. Good morning, double pulse squat, <clears throat> excuse me. Ready, set, here we go. Good morning, pulse for two, sink back in those heels. Back is flat, again, pushing those hips back. When you can't press those hips back any farther, that's as low as you go with a good morning. Good. Down. Three, two, and stop. Head back down to the ground. <clears throat> two renegade rows, one push up. In four, three, two, let's go. Keeping the hips and shoulders steady. Form over trying to power through that push up on the toes if you feel like you can't keep the good form. Woo. Stay there, get through this, we're halfway through. Circuit number one. This workout is gonna go by super quick, I promise. Three, two, and stop. Okay, two down, two to go. You're doing fantastic. Hands behind in three, two, good morning now. Double pulse squat. So even though neither of these moves are really cardio, just the quick transitions alone is going to get the heart rate up. Woo. Down and lift, eight seconds. You've got it. Good morning. Pulse, three, two, and stop. Walk it out. Heading back down to your mat. This is set number three. Ready, set, and let's row. One, two, drop the knees, push up. Elbows at a slight angle, but overall pretty tight to the body. Boom. If you feel yourself really wobbly on the renegade, take a wider stance. Finish it. Three, two, and stop. Woo, final minute of work in circuit one. I know, it goes so quick. Okay, good morning, squats. Ready, set, let's do it. Down and up, pulse down. So just a heads up, once we finish the renegade rows, I am going to incorporate that 10 second recovery at the end. So it's a complete four minutes and true Tabata. Sound good? Finish this off. Three, two, and stop. Walk it out. 
Head down to the mat, final time. Again, do your 20 seconds and we'll rest for 10 in child's pose position. Three, two, last 20 right here. Row, row, push up. Full body exercise on this one. Whew. You've got it. Breathe. All the way for six. One more in. Three, two, take your 10 second rest. I'm gonna go into child's pose, deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. Three, two, and stop. You did it. First circuit is done. Get a quick drink. Come back for number two. Number two, while you recover. Reverse lunge, it's a unilateral reverse lunge, so we're gonna alternate sides per round. So it's a reverse lunge, inner thigh lift. See that, reverse lunge, turn the foot inner. That's the first side, first set. Second set, we'll do the other side. So first move there. Second one is going to be alternating small front kick, small back kicks. Front, front, back, back. You wanna dip the shoulders forward a little bit so you can get that range of motion and really squeeze the glutes. And that's it, those are your two moves. Circuit two, going in 10. Like I mentioned, everything is low impact today, so no jumping, yay, but still keeping the heart rate up. Three, two, pick a leg to go reverse. Go now, reverse, inner. Stay on the same side. Remember the side you're on. We'll do the other side next time. If you're not feeling the inner thigh, just go ahead and do a reverse lunge, tap up instead. That's fine. Ooh, balance challenge. Three, three, two, walk it out. Alternating front, front kick, back, back kick. Again, these are small. In three, two, and let's go. Kick, kick, back, back, kick, kick. Remember, lean forward on the back kick. And let's go ahead and drive through those glutes. Think of it like a glute press, kicking behind you. Perfect. Woo. Back, back. Three, two, walk it out. Other side for reverse lunge, inner thighs. All right, ready? I'm gonna go this leg in three, two, and here we go. Reverse lunge, inner thigh lift. Balance, control, keeping the core engaged because we're bringing that leg up. Remember, you can always do a tap in if you're not feeling the inner. You've got it. Whew. Three, two, and walk it out. Keep that light march in between. Keep the heart rate elevated. Kicks front and back. Going in five. Ready, set, and here we go. Front, front, back, back. This is your second set of each. Ooh, get through this halfway through. Back, back, front. Yeah. Oh, you've got it. Maybe a little bigger if you're feeling good. Three, two, walk it out. Back to the first side for the reverse lunge, inner thigh. So I'm gonna go with this leg. In three, two, and here we go. Back, inner turn. Turn that heel in, standing tall, really plant that base leg or that base foot. 10. Ooh, last time on the side. It's a nice spot unilateral. <laughs> Three, two, walk it out. Kicks are up on deck. You know it. All right, in three, two, let's go. Kick, kick, back. Let's see if I can make them just a little bit bigger. You don't have to. If you want a little more challenge, the heart rate up a bit higher, go for it. 10 seconds, back, back, kick. Whew. Got it. Three, two, walk it out. Final round of each. One minute of work. Other leg, reverse lunge, inner thigh. You've got it. Two, and here we go. Back, inner, back, inner. Good, turn. Breathing through, smooth and controlled. Yes. It looks so good. I'm so proud of you for being here today. Three, two, 
All right, shake it out. Final round for kicks, just like we did with circuit one. Take that last 10 seconds to recover before we get a drink. And let's do it. Kick, kick, back, back, kick. Last set, let's make it a little bit bigger. Whew, yeah. Got it, you got it. Breathe. Three, two, and give me one more and stop. Woo. Walk it out for eight. Nice job. Okay, round number three is, or set number three is coming up. And stop. Go ahead, get that drink, and I'll meet you back here. Okay, give yourself a little bit of space. Actually, I'm gonna start in the middle, move on both sides. Lateral lunge, mini popover. If you don't like the popover, you're just doing a set of alternating lateral lunges. That's your first move. Second one is going to be standing, outer thighs, inner thighs. If you wanna add some arms, you can. Go for it. All right, and that's your second move. Same thing, you know the drill. 20 on, 10 second rest, four rounds each, going in 10. Lateral lunge popover, so this is kind of a strength cardio move to kick off in four. Three, two, let's do it. Lateral lunge, little pop. Woo. Really sink into that outside leg, elongate the inside one. Yes, feel free to step instead. Good job. Stay there, stay there. Three, two, walk it out. Out to inner thigh. Whew. We got this. Start to break a little sweat. <laughs> Ready, set, and here we go. Outer, outer, inner, inner. Outer, outer. Base heel is down. Knees are soft. Nice long legs and arms. Reach, reach, inner. Good. Woo. Three, two, walk it out. Round one is done. Knock down that pillar. Three more standing. Lateral lunge popovers. Ready, set. Let's do it. Down. Little pop. Come on, sink into that leg. Pull it in. Woo! Fantastic. You've got this. So, so good. Breathe. Three, two, walk it out. All right, outers to inners. How you feeling? Good, not bad. You look great. Ready, set, here we go. If you ever feel yourself so out of breath that you can't speak, I want you to go ahead and skip one of the rounds, maybe two of the rounds. Rest, walk around, hydrate, do what you need to do to bring the heart, light, heart rate level back down a bit. Okay, listen to your body. You know what's best. Three, two, and stop. Halfway, woo, okay, round number three. Ready, set, lateral lunge. Mini pop, good. I love this one, it actually feels really good. That nice stretch, the abductors, and the inner thighs, good. Stay there for four, breathe. Three, two, walk it out. Woo, outer to inners, you got it. Four, three, two, here we go. Outer, outer, inner, inner. Abs are tight, spine is long. Reach, reach, yes. Boom, squeeze the glutes. Woo, we're almost there. Three, two, walk it out. Final minute. We're already there. Final minute. Last set, lateral lunge pops. Ready, set, let's do it. Down and up. Down and lift. Good. Woo. Come on, push up with that base heel and breathe. All the way, all the way. For five, four, three, two, Walk it out. Okay, last outer inner thigh combo. 10 second rest, then we hydrate. Ready, set, 
Let's do it. Outer, outer, pull it up for the inner. Press, press, squeeze. Yes. Woo. So good. Lift, lift. You've got it. I almost forgot that second inner thigh. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, and walk it off for 10. Woo. You're pretty much on that halfway mark exactly. Three uh, circuits down, three remaining. And go ahead, grab a drink, stay standing. Circuit number four is coming up. A little more cardio on this one, I'm telling you now. Again, all standing, alternating. Two diagonal lunges, which we step back, diagonal, elongate this leg. Feet come together on a point, looks like an upside down V. And then once we're here, either two heel jacks, which I'm gonna do because I am keeping this low impact, but if you're feeling extra spicy, go for the two full jacks. I leave that up to you. So two diagonal lunges, two jacks or heel jacks. Second move is a set of lateral skaters. For this one, you can take it low, which I'm actually gonna do today. I'm gonna get a little bit lower and make it a little bit bigger. But if you want to add that small hop, you can do that as well. And I've shown all those different versions in other classes before. So you know what to do. I'll, maybe that first round, I'll demo what those look like. And then you decide. Okay, you know the drill, 20 on, 10 second rest, going in 10. Two diagonal lunges, two jacks or heel jacks. Woo. Ready, set, diagonal, make that V. Back and up. Two jacks or heel jacks, one and two. Good, back, heel. I'll do a full jack next so you can see that one. Two full jacks, back. Three, two, and walk it out. Lateral skaters, you can have a hop. You can stay low and make it bigger. You decide, ready, set, here we go. So if you're doing what I'm doing, I'm staying low the entire time and really reaching that toe back. If you want to keep it a little bit higher and shorter, you can do that. Woo, 10 seconds. Pick what you like. You can mix and match maybe every other round. Do something different. It's an easy one to mix and match. Three, two, walk it out. Set one is done. Going on two, diagonal lunges. Ready? And let's go. Back, back. Heel, heel. Woo. Very nice. Heel jacks. Awesome. You're doing magnificent. <laughs> Three, two, and stop. Walk it out. Lateral skaters. Woo. Then you're halfway through. Circuit four. In three, two, and let's do it. Okay, I'm going to go with the low. Maybe add a smaller hop, like a little mini hop. That's a good way to also bring up the heart rate a bit more. Let those arms just swing how you like, what feels good. Letting air breeze through. Four, three, two, walk it out, halfway. Woo! Round three, diagonals. Ready, set, let's do it. Backing up. Jack, heel jack, here's the full jacks. Jack, and then there's your heel. Good. Push those hips back, just like you did with the uh, lateral lunges earlier. Remember that? Three, two, walk it out. Okay, skaters, coming at you. Three, two, and here we go. Yes. Woo. Fantastic work. Come on. Stay in it all the way. You only have one more set of each after this. Three, two, walk out. Last minute already. And this is the last minute that we're standing. I believe our last two circuits are on the ground. Okay, get it done. Diagonal lunges here. Down and up. Jacks, heel jacks. Woo. Laterals. Yes. Woo. Good job. Backing up. 
heel, heel. Step three, two, and walk. Okay, final time. Lateral skaters, whatever is in your tank, maybe take it up a level if you'd like. Ready, set, and here you go. I'm gonna add a little bit more of a hop since it is the final one. You decide what you wanna do. Like I said, the final two circuits, we are down less than 10, and then you'll walk it out for 10. Whew. Four, three, two, and done. Woo, walk around. Give me like five more seconds. Deep breath in, exhale out. Three, two, and stop. Good job. Take a moment, get a drink, get your mat, and I'll meet you on the ground. We're gonna start off with high plank, rainbow taps, squeezing the glutes. You know this one, right? If you like, knee down, you tap diagonal. That's your first one. Second move on your back. Tradi ugh, traditional set of bicycle crunches right here. Or you can keep your head down and do a single leg switch. Okay, so all on the floor, very much core based. A little bit of shoulders being in that high plank position. Go ahead, get into plank. Going in 10, circuit number five. I know it sounded like a lot when we started, but now that we're in it, it goes really fast. Ready, set. Rainbows. So think about squeezing the glutes, tapping to the outside corners of the mat. Here's your modified knee down, diagonal tap again, away from the mat. Woo. Keep those shoulders stacked. Three, two, and stop on your back. Bicycles, take a breather. Hands behind, legs position, and Let's do it, twist. I don't like to do these super fast. More control and making sure there's no space between the lower back and the floor. Again, here is your other option, head down or head up on the single leg switch. Got it, five seconds. Woo, three, two, and stop. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip around, moving forward, high plank rainbows. Squeeze the glutes, ready, set. And let's go. Up and tap. Take your time. Really no cardio here. We're just bigger movements, especially this one. Good. Breathe. Last five. Three, two, and stop. On your back. Good. Okay, here we go. Getting to that halfway point, let's begin. Twist, lower the legs, go more intense. Find your back arching a lot. Once you check your form, you can raise the legs higher. Perfect. Smooth and controlled. Breathe. Woo. Three, two, and stop. Two down, two to go. Back over for those rainbow taps. Take a breath. High plank, and let's start. Squeeze. I know these are getting a little bit more challenging each round, but remember it's only 20 seconds. We've got this. Lift and squeeze. So good. Three, two, and stop. Flip it. Whew. Okay. Number three, ready, set, and let's go. You know your options now. We are on autopilot. Probably not having to think too much more about the moves, but make sure you keep that good form. Hands light behind the head, elbows in your peripheral vision. You don't want to be looking directly at your elbow. <laughs> three, two, and stop. Oh my gosh. Final set of each, last minute of work. You got it. Ready, set, let's go rainbows. Tap it over, tap it over. Ooh, squeeze it nice and tight. So good, last time we get to see these today. Last five. Three, two, and stop. Flip it. 
Finish strong. Bicycle crunches. Okay, let's get it done and begin. Remember, do this for 20. 10 seconds, just lay in recovery. We'll hydrate and then get to our final working circuit. Whew. And I promise this one, last one's gonna be really nice. A little nicer. <laughs> Three, two, and stop. Just go ahead and hug the knees in. Breathe. Last three, two, and stop. Grab a quick drink, come back on your back on the mat, and let's do your final circuit. Last circuit is quite nice. It looks nicer than it probably is. First move, it's an isometric hold. Isometric hold, it's like yay, which means we're not moving, doesn't mean we're not working. Legs up 90 degrees. Long fingertips, like you're doing a big crunch. Inhale, exhale, driving those elbows towards the top of your thighs. I want you to add resistance. Press your elbows as hard as you can against your thighs, but don't let your legs move. Hold that crunch and breathe. Pulling the belly button is fine. That's it, you're holding for 20 seconds. If that's too much, I want you to place your hands on your thighs and you can just either add resistance here, pressing those legs in not resist and resisting. If you're feeling a little spicy, you can lift your head up. Okay, that's your first move. Second move, we get to stay down here because that one is going to be quite shaky. We'll keep our head down today and do an alternating dead bug. And that's it, that's gonna be your two final exercises today. So get on your back, going in 10, that ISO hold. We'll call it an isometric crunch hold, just to give it a name. When you're ready, legs up a tabletop, elbows or hands on the quads, exhale, crunch up, and begin now. Just stay there. Breathe, press those elbows, don't move those legs. Again, this is your other option here, pushing against yourself or there. Four, three, two, and the good thing about this one, you can just relax right here, you don't have to move anywhere. Dead bugs, all you're doing is bring those legs back up to tabletop, arms up, long fingertips, pulling the belly button to spine. Let's go, opposite arm, opposite leg, extend. Bring it in, repeat other way. Very nice. Ooh, that's it. Reach and center. Good. You've got this. Three, two, and stop. Again, just lay here. Round number two. Isos, crunch, ready, set. Exhale, crunch up, drive the elbows. Legs at 90. You know your options now, do what's best. You want to feel a little shaky, that means it's working. Breathe, breathe, breathe. I know this is probably the longest the 20 seconds feels is in this exercise because we're not moving. Three, two, relax, let it go. Okay, dead bugs. This one feels really nice. Ready, set, and let's do it. Opposite arm and leg. Reach, bring it in. Core engagement. Perfect. Oh, you look so good. Keep going. Get through this halfway in three, two, and stop. Hang out here, maybe hug it in. Okay, two more rounds left. Ready, set, inhale, exhale, big crunch. Hold. I know, every round of these, we feel just a little bit more, gets just a little bit more challenging, but you're stronger than you know. You can do this. You only have like a minute and a half left of work, and then you're done. Three, two, and stop. Okay, dead bugs. <laughs> I know I said it was gonna be nicer. It kind of is nicer. Let's begin. Like this exercise is nicer. <laughs> that other one is not, it's a little rude. <laughs> All right, come on, get through this. One more set of each, recovery. Then you're out of here. Watch that lower back, no arching. Three, two, and stop. Final minute. Okay, give it your all. If you didn't try the elbow before, try it now. Ready, set, big crunch up. Drive the elbows in. Let's go. Hold. 
hold. Whew. You're doing fantastic. Hang in there. I know we're so close to the end right now. Six seconds. Four, three, two, bring it down. You did it. No more of those. Final 20 second dead bug, final 10 second rest. That's it. And here we go. Opposite arm and leg. If you want to take this last one up a notch, go ahead and raise that head off the ground since it is our final one. Whew. Breathe. Final six. And then stick with me for the final 10 seconds. Three, two, and stop. Hug those knees in, rock it out. Deep breath, inhale. Exhale out. Good, one, two, three, rock it on up. You did such a great job today. I'm so proud of you. Remember to take at least five or 10 minutes to stretch on your own. My name is Allison. Thank you for working out with me and I'll see you next time. Great job on completing that workout. If you haven't done it yet, make sure to tap the subscribe button and the bell to stay notified with the latest fitness videos released every Mondays and Thursdays. If you have any workout requests, please leave a comment in this video. My name is Allison. Thank you so much for working out with me and I look forward to seeing you next time.